wrong with me? Aslan. Yeah? What's wrong? I don't know. It's just, I don't feel the same anymore. Can you elaborate? It's just, I don't know. This black fog just hovers over me. It like consumes me with this overwhelming feelings of emotion. It's, it's weird. What do you think causes this fog? I don't know. Sometimes there's a certain thing that causes it. Other times it's just, it's out of the blue. Do you think you'd be mom? Maybe. I mean, you know how she is. Especially when she's like, it's like she's a zombie. It's like, it's like she's there, but she's not, you know? It's like, I'm tired of worrying about what I'm gonna eat and what my little sister's gonna eat. I mean, she's my mom and I love her, but she chose the pills over me. In our previous sessions, you, you said she lies a lot. Do you think she could be lying? I don't know. It's just, she's so hard to trust. I mean, I want to trust her. I mean, part of me feels like it'd be a bad idea to trust her again. Do you blame her for this lack of trust? Well, I mean, she's my own parent. and She lies right to my face. She even told me herself she didn't trust her kids or anybody else. So, I mean, why trust her? That makes sense. I mean, any good parent should be able to be trusted. I already recently moved in with your dad. How was that? It's good. I mean, since I left, I haven't had to worry about people running my pockets. But I've been alone a lot recently, but I don't know. There's like just this kind of peace in the silence. Yeah, silence could be so loud. Sometimes it can also be so liberating. I think staying at your dad's is best for now. But I miss her. I miss Nana. I miss just, I miss the talks we had. I miss being around, I miss hearing her, I miss annoying her, and I miss being annoyed by her. Why didn't she move with you? I don't know, we told her to. It's like, she knows what's going on. She just chooses to stay. Why? I can't speak to her. Maybe try asking her. I mean, it's hard to bring up. I'm scared to bring it up. I feel the words will come to you soon. I hope so. Let's change the subject. How was your summer? Summer was bad for me. For starters, I lost my first love. And then after that, my mom was just bad off the shit the whole summer. Her home was broken, literally. My mom crashed into the car because she thought the gas was the break. Probably because the Xanax she took. Was she okay? Was anybody hurt? No, luckily no one was hurt, but the apartment was broken. She's lucky though, she didn't even have to pay for any of the damages. How did that incident make you feel? I was, I was embarrassed, I mean, people were, people just, they knew her as the lady who crashed into the apartment because she was high. Just, I don't know, but I felt guilty for feeling that way. Cause just, I mean, that's my mom, but I can't believe she did that. We have to stop feeling bad for the way we feel because of her actions. We have the right to feel this way, but Anyway, how did how did your dad handle the situation? He wanted me out the house. I mean, after all that, he wanted both of us out the house. He kept saying he was gonna get the courts involved and this and that. There's just so much. I didn't, I didn't want to deal with it. How did that make you feel? I, was, I didn't know I was gonna be staying half the time. I was I was worried about where I would end up. I didn't. I honestly don't know if I wanted to live with him. Well, I think we should change the topic. How's your love life? Um, it's good. I mean, Stacy's great. She's everything I could ask for and more. I mean, like, it's just a blessing, but I don't know. I'm worried. Worried? Why? It's her parents. They don't like you? I mean, it's not like they don't like me. It's just they'd prefer me to be mom. I mean, seriously, it's 2018. How is that? I mean, like, I can't change that. Well, it's just a cultural thing. You have to, you have to respect that. It's just, it's ignorant, but I mean, I guess, I mean, I'm trying to, it's just, it's hard sometimes, you know? So how does this affect you and Stacey's relationship? It makes it hard for us to see each other, I mean, isn't it important to see somebody if you're gonna be in a lasting relationship with them? I mean, I would believe so. 
Do you believe this will be something they get in between you and Stacy's relationship? I don't know. We kind of talk about it a lot. It's just, we don't want it to, but at the same time, we don't want to admit that it does. That's understandable. Just stay strong, okay? She's good to us. She's always been good to us. It's hard, but for her, I'm willing to try. Let's change the subject. How's school going? I mean, I don't know. It's just like, everything's a system. It's like, it's just, it's like a pathway that was chosen for me. Interesting. Are you passing your classes? No. I'm literally failing every single class. I just, I can't find, I can't seem to find motivation. You know, motivation doesn't come to you. You gotta meet it halfway. Don't give me that post it bullshit. You know it's true. I mean, yeah, I know. I realize you missed a lot of school. Why is that? I mean, besides the motivation, I know there's more. Well, I mean, we had to miss the whole week for the funeral we had to go to. Tell me about it. Well, I mean, Nima was great. I mean, she was the only grandma we ever met. She was, she was just so fun. She was always the fun, funniest person in the room. She always made everybody laugh. That's that's probably something I always remember about her. It's just, she was just so warm and happy. So she had Alzheimer's. How did that affect you? It didn't. It didn't really affect me, it just, I really felt more bad for my dad, I mean, there would be times when he'd be separated for her for years and he wouldn't be able to see his mom and now it's like he was losing her and I felt even worse for her because it's like, what does it feel like to lose yourself? So during your trip in Michigan, you guys held a fire? Yeah, we burned a fire for four straight days. It's supposed to signify her journey to the afterlife. Yeah, Slana, I know. But we're running out of time before I go. I want to remind you what you learned in your time during the mission. I want you to remember what dad said at the funeral. We all have a fire. It burns the side of us. We have to tend to our fires to make sure they burn bright. Right now your fire is dim. It's simmering down, but it doesn't have to be that way. We are what we think, so think good and you'll be good. I know right now it's rough, and there'll be rough times. But I promise, the goods will be so good that it'll make it all worth it. Just tend to your fire, and I promise, it'll liberate you from your fog. It's nice talking to you, Aslan. Yeah. Sometimes we go through things in life that our brains can't comprehend. And that it's just so unfair that we want to give up. But at the end of the day, we have to realize that sometimes all we have is our mental. And that it's okay to have sessions with ourselves. 